Hi everyone, it's Be Divine and Happy Halloween to you all and uh, welcome to the uh, Tarot Mini forecast this week for the water signs. I'm here with my friend Esmeralda. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> she freaks me out every time she talks. <laughs> And she's just got a hold of me here because you know she's been going through a really hard time, and uh, we you know we're we're sort of uh, helping her to to get well. But, <laughs> so I'm taking over the cards for her today. <laughs> she's gonna laugh at me. <laughs> and I'm doing the Pisces, um, Cancer, and Scorpio. Okay, so I'm going. Oh, sorry. I'll show you what cards I'm using. Um, the Gateway to the Divine Tarot. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. We are outside, never mind. Alright, starting off with Pisces. Here we go. Pisces. Alright, that was a quick shuffle, wasn't it? Alright. <laughs> Alright, the Ace of Swords for Pisces. Okay, so this does have a couple of meanings. Um, the first one is that you are in the very beginning of some sort of idea that you've had. Um, and you know you should keep on pushing forward with this this is a good card to come up at the well it's at 31st of October today so you're starting into a new month so this is saying now's the time to push forward if I was doing this in a reading uh, say with 10 cards or something like that and this came out with a certain other cards it would mean that there may be someone out there who's having an operation or going to visit someone in hospital as well so cuts to the body do come up with this card so perhaps this is a little bit of a warning to be careful um, you know of those scratches and cuts and things so maybe now that I've said it it won't happen so that's good um, oh you've got the Eagles I actually thought they were crows from where I was so uh, you can see the ego, eagles are just really taking flight and that's exactly where you are at the moment. Perhaps you've been circling around and circling around different things and ideas and directions um, and now you're ready to take flight and it looks like you've got all the force of the universe working behind you as well to make that possible. Okay, So don't let go of this dream or this idea that you have keep moving forward with it because this is something that's going to um, really benefit you in your life and uh, bring you into a new abundant direction and it may not be something that everybody else likes um, but this is going to be something that's perfect for you so push forward with those plans um, so that's a really good message um, there for Pisces yeah, I like that one did you like that I one like that one <laughs> And now we're going to do um, Cancer. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, okay. So this is a major card. And this is the Death card. Div oh, I don't like that one. You don't like that one? No. <laughs> it is a good one, though. Is it? Yeah, oh, it's, okay. it's a good one. You should know you do cards all your, all your life. I'm so being funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, um, for cancer people, this is a complete ending to a situation um, in your life, which is really, really good for you. Okay, so although it can be difficult for some people when we see this card coming up, we think it's all bad, we think it's horrible, but as you know by now, when we see it, that means it's already happening. The ending is already underway. It's something that is going to be of benefit to you. There has been a lot of people who have been going through grief um, and losing people in, you know, a lot of people are transitioning at the moment. Um, don't don't uh, dwell on the past too much here. This is saying that all of this needs to be behind you in order for you to really, um, you know, grow and move forward in your life. It's time to let the past go decide that you're going to take a new direction and when you've actually made that decision that's when those doorways really start to open for you as well this could also okay so there's some there's a white um, rose there so for some of you um, this also does bring well for me this is what it's telling me that someone's mum out there is actually giving you a message of love um, peace and strength Okay, so make sure, because it is Halloween, I was saying this on one of the other videos, but because it's Halloween, the veil is very thin, make sure that you're talking uh, to your loved ones who have passed, you know, write them a letter, sit by candlelight, um, do all those things and just imagine what they would say back to you. 
Um, it's never going to be a nasty thing. It's always full of love. But, you know, if you're wearing an outfit, I used to say to my grandma, what do you think of this? And she says, I wouldn't go out in that. <laughs> you know, I would always hear um, her advice. And that's the same thing. You know, we always get that. Uh, like when we talk, we do know what they would say to us. So um, just make sure you're doing that uh, over the next few days when the veil's really thin like this. Um, but trust that this new direction that you're taking is divinely guided and orchestrated. And even though for some people it is difficult um, to move past a, a situation that you may be very familiar with, um, it's going to be of much benefit uh, for yourself and your future. Okay, so let these things end that are ending. Don't force things to stay open. Let them go in a way so you can bring in the new into your life. Okay, so that is for cancer. Oh, good. See, it wasn't that bad, was it? And um, now for Scorpio. Oh, that they have birthdays this month. Yeah, the Scorpios yeah. have birthdays this month. And some yeah. people's birthdays are on Halloween. Some are. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right I'm now look now <laughs> you need to be quiet just in the background while I'm trying to talk all right here we go Scorpio <laughs> okay <laughs> um, okay oh wow this is a really great card um, for Scorpio, you got the key, you got the flowers, you've got the coins. There's a lot of things happening um, behind the scenes. Lots of crystals in here as well. Um, yeah, and this is this is like a treasure chest opening in your life. There's something really magical happening around you and within you. And even if you're still going through the same old, um, same old, you know, things are still going around, around, around. Something has really shifted, and perhaps you've been getting. Um, feelings about this happening you know like been getting messages that something's going to shift um, and this is it this is your time there seems to be a big windfall coming your way um, some people are receiving some kind of inheritance things really starting to um, you know work in your favor there is abundance all around you you're manifesting things really easily and remember that you own um, the key to your own heart and your own success and your own future it doesn't matter what anybody else you know wants you to do that that really needs to stop if if that's stopping you from uh, you know being the person that you can be and really living your life that's joy for you then that needs to stop you know if other people are stopping you you need to to stop letting that happen and keep on moving forward there's going to be some surprises some presents coming through some people giving you really thoughtful gifts and also that you have your own gifts and those gifts are starting to really awaken so don't ignore this calling um, sometimes um, some people have physical symptoms when they're ignoring uh, you know the calling in their life um, so so if that's happening to you maybe readjust uh, your direction um, stop trying to worry about again this is a big message for you not to worry about what um, the happiness of other people and think or focus on yourself for once it's not selfish to do that because your happiness has a ripple effect to everyone else around you and so does your sadness so which one is it going to be you know this is the big choice for you too so be aware of the um, inspiration coming your way the words that people are saying to you uh, you know the things that are coming into light in your life the things that you're finding on on your journey and um, Be aware of those things as they are all sort of little bits and pieces of a puzzle that is going to help you to be able to move forward Smoothly and now is the time Okay, so that is the message for Scorpio, which is awesome. I love puzzles, I love <laughs> you puzzles. Love puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> And it will be um, everyone uh, for the water signs. I hope that you enjoyed your messages and that you have an awesome Halloween. And uh, from Esmeralda and I. And bye. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye. Sorry, I have to move your hand for you because your hand is actually not even attached. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right, never mind. <laughs> so until, the next <laughs> until the next time, it's goodbye for now. Bye, everyone. Bye. bye.